it is all ready to go. We're gonna hit it with epoxy before the end of the day today so it can sit overnight. Uh, and then tomorrow I can work on sanding it down and, and getting it prepped in that regard. So I think Dylan is at the moment mixing the epoxy. So we'll go for a quick walk and I'll show you what he's up to. Um, but they're gonna let me do it. <laughs> Dylan's gonna give me a, like a, a five minute how-to and then I get to hit it. So it'll be great. Oh, this is paint, by the way. All the paints. I mean, I'm gonna take out the beeps, but uh, yeah, we can throw that in there. Uh, that? I'm gonna be famous. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Dane actually has three different paint. Do you call them setups? Like, what do you call the shelves? Paint systems. Paint systems. Okay, so three different paint systems. That was a Baslack. Did I, did I say that correctly? Yep. Sick. That's like, uh, was it HB Body Color Solutions? And what was the first one you guys were Protec. Protec, yeah. Yeah, so Protec is what the guys have been using for a long time. I had my 32 done in this one actually, and also my 260Z. They got this one in the meantime, but weren't too happy with it. So now they've gone to this one. And Dylan reckons this one's the best. Still better. Oh, epoxy's like khaki coloured. Yeah, you should smell the hardener for it. <laughs> Where is it? Sniff all the things. It legit smells like poo. What? Oh god. Oh, like, oh. Not a pleasant smell. Yeah, no, that, that smells like a latrine out in the bush for like two years later. <laughs> oh god. So the epoxy at the moment, we're putting this on the bare metal, aren't we? Yeah. And what is the epoxy used for? It's like, is it just like a, a bonding? Seal the bare metal off. Okay. So it seals um, the bare metal completely. Is yeah. it, does it also create a bonding agent for anything on top of it? Yes, because Bob doesn't really like sticking to bare metal. I like it, it will stick, but just sometimes depends on the metal and that nut. Yeah. Ooh. awkward or anything <laughs> so we got one coat down this is like a kind of a lighter coat to kind of give some, the paint and the next layer something to bond to and then the second layer will be a bit wetter and a bit thicker look how clean it is yeah fun times by the end of this I might actually know how to paint something <laughs> Dylan do the second coat, that way we get a good, nice, consistent coat. Great ad. Good afternoon, we are back at Loco Customs. Woo! We've been really busy for the last two days. I didn't even pick up the camera yesterday because we were pulling apart some stuff. Um, <laughs> surprise, can't tell you. So the panel leader that Dane has on, his name is Jamie. 
Jamie worked his absolute magic on the car yesterday and has uh, repaired all the metal that was rusted or that needed cutting out or that was dented or you know any of the bog spots. I was going to do it however Jamie offered to do it and he could do it 10 times faster than I could uh, and we can get this car out hopefully by the end of the week. So we went with that and Jamie's done. Uh, today we've been masking it up and we're about to hit it with some primer and get it ready for paint hopefully tomorrow. Yeah, as we're wandering around. Alright, we don't have music on at the moment, so I don't have to worry about overlay, but <laughs> a lot of the time the guys are playing music because you need tunes to work to, so you might find some of this has has been uh, subtitled or I've had to put music over it in the background at some points. However, this is the S14 as it stands. Just before we're about to hit it with primer. So the roof ended up, uh, it was quite rippled and dented, so Jamie has had to re-bog that over quite a bit, which would explain why I had so much bog in it to begin with when I was initially sanding it. But it's not too bad. Jamie's cut out the whole metal rust patch here, as well as the uh, rust spot on the roof. He's fixed that as well. Um, tiny little dents and stuff from people's thumbs usually pushing into the doors. This guy here had a bit. He's made my guards amazing. I actually feel bad if I ever want to roll my guards now. <laughs> this is unrolled, unmolested, virgin guarded S14. So this guard, after we hit it with a, uh, the epoxy the other day, we could see that it had a bit of a crease in the side here, as well as a dent and a ripple out here. I may or may not have filmed it, but it was bulging and it, it kind of looked real bad. Jamie literally worked his magic and has made this thing look... Man, someone's doing a skit. Why didn't he tell me to film? Mofo! <laughs> the guys are just doing skits outside. <laughs> yeah, um, sorry, I gotta wait for the zoom to come in. This is the air ducting by the way, if you're wondering what all the noise is all the time in here, it's the ventilation to pull all the dust and all the contaminants out through all the ventilation. So yeah, we got that. The three dents that were in the bonnet are now fixed. Um, I don't know if he actually like ball paint hammered them or if he just bogged them over. I don't care, they look amazing so that, that's fine. <laughs> uh, same with the driver's door, had a couple of those finger marks and you know, when people press on doors. Down here. It looked like we had uh, marks where they'd welded some pull marks to pull the door out. But again, Jamie's worked magic on that, so it looks great. Again, the roof didn't have anything overly visible, but you could feel the ripples in it. Like, you'd run your hand across it and it would do that. So I don't know if the, you know someone sat boxes on it previously, or who knows? I have no idea what the previous history of this car was. I'd love to know one day, but I don't think I'm going to find the owner or any of the ex-owners anytime soon. Although one of them did hit me up the other we got some bug. One of them did hit me up the other day tagging his mate in it, so maybe he owned it. I don't know. But uh wait, so let me grab some I need some paper. 240 grit. I'm just gonna take this tiny little bog off right here. Can you see it? Go camera, focus. Dylan has been helping me out tons with this, uh, showing me how to mask, showing me how to do, uh, how to spray things and all that kind of thing. So uh, at the moment he's mixing me up some primer. I'm gonna go check out what he's doing and I'll show you guys. Apparently my camera is really dusty, sorry. But this ended up being a full restoration for something that was meant to be a quick turnover drift car respray. This has literally become a full professional, no stops, skips, restoration S14. <laughs> so that's kind of really cool. I'm driving the FD down here at the moment. It's $80 a day in fuel. It's killing me. But it's a cool drive. As we got the TA22 out here. Bunch of Commodores, a little 86 hiding in the corner here. There's a, I think it's a Mercedes some Euro thing. 
<laughs> Some Euro thing in here is getting painted candy apple red. Oh, sorry, not the whole thing at the moment. They're doing the jams, as you can see there. <laughs> I just came to find you. La 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 la. Am I too dusty to go in there? No, yes. I'm sure you guys. car so Dylan was saying we're gonna do three coats on all the repairs so the bog can suck it in uh, and then another three to maybe four coats depending on how much we need on the rest of the car to do a full coverage layer looks like in Battleship Grey. <laughs> That's it for today's vlog. Stay tuned. Tomorrow will probably be a lot of sanding. Not sure if we'll be painting tomorrow or next week, but we're going to see it in colour very, very soon and start assembling. See you guys. Have fun.